It's the middle of November. You don't know what that means. You already failed No Nut November. Christmas is around the corner, so let's play a game that reminds us of Halloween. You're probably thinking, Chari, it's too cold to watch one of your videos. Well, say no more, because Daddy Chari did choose Squish as a sweater. I don't really know how to knit, so I just printed on another sweater. It's really comfy, though. It's a Chari 5 ugly sweater. You can wear it at ugly sweater parties, conventions, regular parties, weddings, outside. Australia. It's got some of the stuff on it that the long time squishes will associate with me, like the keychain from Kingdom Carts, the coins from Sonic, the macchiato from Xenophobe, and the snowmen have masks for Personen. You can buy it for yourself and others and make our Belita proud. And I know what you're thinking, that's not enough. What about my thinking parts, my brainium, my head stomach? Well, shut up, because my father's not finished. We also got the Buddha Star Beat. He's got a pom pom on it. It's really nice. It's comfy. I've been wearing it for like three days. If you want to wear something that wasn't purposefully designed to look like a joke, maybe you'd like to warm yourself up with the Soul Star sweater. Ugh, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of L's. Look, it's got a Seba Kabuti on it with all the Soul Stars around the wreath. It's so pretty. And look, it's got the thing I always see at the bottom there. But some of you would be like, well, I want to wear those designs, but I live in heck in Death Valley and I don't want to wear a sweater. Well, Poppy's got you covered, you precious pop lolly. The designs also come in shirt form, so you can wear them all year round. Go to brownk.com and get these holiday. <laughs> Go to brownk.com to get these holiday items before they're no longer available. Thanks for watching. What? Yeah, crowd man, that's what I said. Didn't we put you in a painting? Is that... Is that Luigi's house? We got gypped! That's the D-rank mansion, and I got the A-rank in my playthrough! That's not even a mansion! That's a house! We need your help, Sonny! It's an emergency! Oh. The ghost is going hostile! Ah, uh, what are you doing on the floor? How can EGAD see Luigi? Does Luigi see our TTV double as a webcam? Never mind that! I'm preparing the pizza later! No, 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 no! Be all still, young fella! Oh, no, 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 no. Here we go! And it apparently triples as a teleporter, too. Huh. So that's where all the money went. Now, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Wait here. The good news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the Dark Moon nearby, meaning the thing's broken. We interrupt Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon to bring you the Master Emerald from the Sonic Adventure games. I've done it, Luigi! It seems to have regained its original power! And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments! Breaking the fourth wall- Wow, Luigi's kind of a dick to E.Gad. What are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts. And they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your- Uh, your- Prowess in catching ghosts? E.Gad's kind of a dick right back to Luigi. Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means you're going to need some ghost hunting gear, son. But wouldn't you know it, I left my new Poltergust 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. You made a new Poltergust model? Why? Considering that you were chill with the ghosts in the Evershade Valley, why would you make a weapon that could trap them? Just in case? You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and largely untested pixelator. Let's hope all the pixels make it this time. <laughs> this time? Did... Did all of my pieces not show up when you use the pixelator? Luigi, what the f did you think that was gonna do? It's a flashlight! Why would a ghost need a shower? And why is that the second time this has happened? Did that ghost just run into the wall? Does he not know how to ghost? Can he just go through walls? That's racist. Well, no offense, but couldn't you just tell me over the DS? Aren't we just wasting more power and more time by having me go back to the bunker every 10 minutes? We interrupt Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon to bring you the latest Call of Duty game. Why do you give a shit about the pinwheel veins? You're goddamn ghosts! Doors, gates, and such should be nothing to you! We better get back to the bunker. Hmm. You might know the whereabouts of the special mm -hmm. key we're looking for. But I can't actually 
if both of you had there. Uh, why not? Why would the Pixelator have a limit on what you can send through it? Why not just make two trips? You can summon the Pixelator whenever you want anyway. Why not teleport one of them first and then the other? And by the way, you're telling me this new big-ass screen can't teleport Luigi and Toad, but an older prototype can? And what's the point anyway? We still get teleported by different Pixelators. Why do the Ghosts of the Three Sisters have hats? The Ghosts in the first game had clothes too, but they had full outfits, so it wasn't really weird. Here, it's just hats. And that little one just has a bow. Why that and no other clothes? Anywho, I feel bad for that Toad fellow. Being trapped inside that painting can't have been fun. Oh, the Toad being trapped in a painting makes you feel bad, but four children, one of them a baby, an old lady, and a dog being trapped as art to you. What are those boos carrying? Suspicious. Damn it, Mario's trapped in a painting again? Motherfucker travels through paintings! How are they his strength and his one weakness at the same time? Ready, Luigi? Don't you dare come back here without that special key! Well, that's kind of up to you, Professor. We can't really get back without the pixelator that you control. Oh, joy! I love not knowing which stairs to go up, meaning I slide down every time, meaning I have to walk up the goddamn stairs over and over again. So fun! Welcome back, Luigi. Sorry if it smells like popcorn here in the bunker. Your battle with that possessor was so thrilling, I just had to have some. The fight lasted like two minutes. It takes that long, if not longer, to make popcorn. Luigi, I'm afraid I have a weed certain elite scientific circles called bad news. Is that right? Do only scientists use the phrase bad news? <laughs> so it's cute that Kombooter says boo in binary, but can you imagine what that must have sounded like for Luigi? Kombooter says 01100010011011111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111
That's more. Luigi, is that you? Boy, am I happy to see you! This toad may not be the worst toad of all toads, but he's still a jackass. We interrupt Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon to bring you Portal. Easy as pie, eh, youngster? I'll call you on the dual screen once you get across. Look lively! I just realized you just named the dual screen during the course of this game because Luigi looked scared, but you were already calling it the DS. Where did the name DS come from? Was it just dual screen like in real life? Are the handhelds you make just modify video game systems? Because I figured they were original inventions that just happened to look like real-world objects. Aside from teddy bears, have we ever seen a bear in the Mario universe? Because it's kind of f***ed up that the first bear we see is a taxidermized rug. Alright, Luigi, mm -hmm. you got them all. Just kidding, mm -hmm. I could have done it a bit quicker myself, but at mm -hmm. least you got the job done. Besides, mm -hmm. I'm too old for this ghost catching town floor. Then why are you flexing on me, you f***ing old fart? At this point, you're lucky I'm even doing this shit for you. I was comfortable in my d rank house just napping in front of the TV until you showed up and started hectoring me. No paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going in there is an absolutely terrible idea. For me, you on the other hand, well, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the final Dark Moon piece. But don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um, you, uh, you have a very bushy mustache. Sorry, I'm no good at pep talks. Anywho, here's the front door key for the treacherous mansion. Huh? Okay, wait, you just said that no one worth their salt would dare go by this place, especially not you, so then why do you have a key to the place? And I'm not just talking about right now, even if there were no hostile ghosts before the Dark Moon was taken, did you just find that? Did someone give it to you? Ah, bad dog! That polter pup is just sitting there, barely out of reach! Polter pup? That's not even clever! You could have called him Poocher Guys, Phantom Mutt, Spook K9, Spectarier, Duppy Puppy, Boo Itch, F***ing Dog Ghost! It was right there! But no, Polter Pup is what we're going with. Okay. Arf! Arf! <laughs> Better run from Bulldog! Okay, now you're just pissing me off! My friend got captured too! We've gotta save him! Huh? The professor didn't tell you there were two of us? That old coot! He always thinks we're the same person! I wonder if he's colorblind! Well, considering that earlier he pointed out a pink ghost, I'd say he's just racist. And yeah, I know that's not what being colorblind is, it's called a joke. Both toads can go through the pixelator? So multiple people can go through one pixelator. Then why don't they just use the one Luigi uses? When two toads showed up here instead of just one, I panicked! I thought a ghost mm -hmm. had managed to get in with a toad, so I walloped him in the nose! Wait, toad has a nose? Here! Take this makeshift rotor! It'll let you turn that huge staircase that rose from the ground! You've built intricate ghost capturing devices as well as video game consoles that double as a smartphone, but your makeshift rotor looks like a busted up stealing fan from a shady Motel 6. Ahem, <clears throat> I am Boorocrat. This mansion is now under the ownership of King Boo Esquire. Esquire? That's a title meant for people who work under the crown. He has the crown. His name is literally King Boo! He's the f***ing king! Discount Boo losses. You know. Even though his name is Bulosses in Japanese, and it's basically the same concept. But this fight is easier and makes more sense! But King Boo is still out there, and this won't end until we defeat him! I wonder how he escaped from his portrait in the first place. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have sold it at that garage sale. You... <sighs> okay, first off, that still doesn't explain how he escaped his painting. But second, and far more importantly, you sold a painting that we busted our ass over! A trophy, nay, a memento of our very first adventure together! Luigi's first solo adventure in a f***ing garage sale?! You're a fool. A fool, nay, a buffoon, nay! An asshole. An asshole is what you are, Egad. This is it. The moment of truth. Look, Luigi, if you, uh, don't ever come back, just know... Just know that I'm very proud of you, my boy. Very proud. Aww, that doesn't make up for the fact that you've been a cock to everyone throughout this whole game. Son, you've saved us all, and the people out there don't even know it. If I wore a hat, I'd take it off to you. But I'm not much of a hat guy. Takes me a long time to do my hair. Wait, you intentionally style it that way? What does it look like normally? <laughs> now what do we have here? Why, if it isn't my old pal Luigi. Or is it baby Luigi? I can't tell the difference. Hey, remember that time you trapped me in a painting for all eternity? 
good times. But guess what? I got out, and now I'm painting the town red. Yeah, and how did you get out? Did the person who bought your painting also have a ghost portification either to turn you back? Hold on, if Egad is here, then who's going to control the pixelator for us to get back? Oh, well, I guess the toads. But if the toads are here, who's going to control the pixelator for us to get back to the bunker? How does a ghost feel co- Ah, fuck it. Why do you even have a boo button? We've already seen that the dark moon doesn't affect them, so they'd still be trouble. Why risk letting them out by having a big red button next to the release the good boy ghost button? <laughs> hey everyone, Char i 5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with the first Luigi's Mansion? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char i 5 signing off.